So we'll have to pull this apart to get it uh, cleaned up. Pull the pin that holds the hairspring. And since all the pivots and the pivot holes are in excellent shape on this movement, I didn't disassemble it completely. These movements don't really lend themselves real well to disassembling and reassembling. All the trunnions and the pinions and all the pivots are made out of music wire. And then all the shafts and all the gears and the parts are cemented together with a uh, metal alloy instead of staked like on a standard clock. This is what they call the Western style. And the Western style was developed by the Western Clock Manufacturing Company when he started out in 1888. And they developed the Western process. Sometime in the 1900s, they started producing the Big Ben clock. The Western Clock Manufacturing Company shortened their name to West Clocks. Time to get the balance wheel assembly in here. Not oiled yet, but I'll go ahead and put some power to it. We'll go ahead and get some oil on it. So I have it all oiled up with fresh oil. It's running real good. It's time to start on the dial. And the center part of the dial has a decorative brass piece that's plated with gold. The plating is real thin and you can see on the inside the brass is starting to uh, corrode, deteriorate a little bit. You can see some green corrosion in there. I'm not going to do anything with that. So on this dial, it really bubbled. They got some debris underneath it where they had, had glued it and the celluloid is chipped, cracked in a few places. I went through some of my old stock that I have and I, I found this envelope but it's from the International Dial Company from New York and it was sent to a, an Anderson Jewelry and Gift Center someplace on Ash and Rowan Village in Spokane, Washington. In this is a new celluloid dial happens to be the same one is is on this dial and so what I've decided to do is go ahead and uh, let loose of this original dial here and replace that one. I'll be replacing this old stained up dial with a new original dial so because this dial has heavily stained and somebody whoever repaired re-glued it on this side here got some debris under right here where the 12 and the 1 is it's kind of I think you can see it in the light and it's it's something's hard under there. I've decided to go ahead and replace it. I have a a new old stock dial available for this movement and I, I may as well put it to good use. Time for the dial and to uh, get this back in the case. Let it run for a week now and it seems to be running just fine. This is that new old stock dial that I had. Nice to see these with the original equipment put back into them.
So when these were first made in the early 1900s, the clock manufacturer, Western Clock Company, their recommended cleaning instructions are to remove the balance wheel and spring, and then they said to take the movement and soak it in gasoline and brush it with a brush. Then remove it and let it dry and then lube it up and, and it's good to go for a while longer. So I'm certainly not going to clean them in gasoline. It just goes to show you how times do change. And here's the dial. It has the new old stock new face on it. I was really lucky to find that. We need to wind up the alarm a little bit. Turn, this is the alarm dial. To rotate this alarm dial here and see when it's set to go off. And that looks right at, uh, looks like about 2.30. And then place this hour hand at 12. As far as markings on the back of the clock, you can see here that somebody worked on it in 1912. And then here's the patent dates. A real nice example of an Art Nouveau style clock. These were popular between 1890 and 1910. They're made by the Western Manufacturing Company of LaSalle, Illinois.